This video is sponsored by JNC Collectibles website at jnccollectibles.com. Be sure to check them out for all your TCG needs from sealed products to sleeves to playmats. Link is in the description box below. Thank you and back to the video. What good, what's good YouTube? We're here back in the channel JNC and who do we have here today? Andres Torres. What'd you do today, young sir? Uh, I got third place at uh, YCS Medellin in Colombia. Woo, that's very nice. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, I get third place. I play uh, Snake Eyes Cashier. <laughs> I really like that. It is an idea from Master Do. The space is really good. I really like it. I'm not gonna lie. I thought like the format was already resolved, uh, but once I see his cards, I see his deck, like the synergy, how it works. Uh, it's crazy. Broken. This this deck is extremely good. Broken. So uh, let's start with the um, Snake Eyes cards. Like, this is super standard. There is nothing out of normal here. Uh, this is like all the all the like the standard stuff. <coughs> this is what you what you play. If you play Fire Kings or you play uh, Pure. Or you play any version, this is like the cards that you're always playing. Uh, so yeah, like this is just like the consistency, the core of the deck, like the this is like the, the deck itself. Cookie These cutter. Cards are like all of them are really good. Um, when it comes like the difference is uh, here. So we run one cashier beard. Uh, I keep opening this card the whole day. Like uh, this was like the cards that I most see in the whole tournament. Uh, two pressure planets, uh, three fenders, and two unicorns. Uh, I like this this ratio. What I might change is just go back to two and just play 40 cards. I was playing 41, but I think two is fine. Like you don't need the third one. Like the field spell is like the third unicorn or the third um, fender, so it's fine. You don't need three. Uh, but this card is just crazy. Like in the mirror match, you banish the princess. You banish the Sealantis, like whatever you need to banish. Like sometimes you can just end on Unicorn, Fenrir, and Birth. Just pass the turn, they're not going to OTK you. And during the next turn, you can just play. Uh, it is really good under your summon limit. If you flip summon limit, like these cards are just broken, you just keep the special summoning monsters turn by turn. So, like, this was like the main engine, like the secondary engine of the deck, and I really love it. I think it's the best one. It is pretty much like the same seven cards of the um, of the uh, Fire King slots uh, or the Pure. Like you just run more hand traps if you're playing Pure with the three fenders. But yeah, I like it a lot. It, it, it works just perfect. Like the synergy is just crazy. Uh, for the hand traps, uh, three Effect Veilers, uh, three Ghost Mourners, and three Impermanence. Like this is like the Monster Effect Negation. This is like the ones that you want to see always because like this is the ones that stop your opponent from playing. And then the triage, the most generic one, um, it's good against every single deck. By itself it's not that good right now, but like combined with any other 200 or 100, it's going to be more than enough just to just survive one turn. So this is the hand trap 12, I will use any more because like the, the Castillo cards help you to push through boards. So the idea with the hand trap is like they just make like mid board. They don't enter like super board. You just make them just enter a mid board. So you can just go through the board with just the cashier cards. And after that, you just summon the snake as cards and you just uh, like finish your combo. Sometimes the mirror matches uh, just they don't enter turn one right now because the the unicorn interactions. So they don't have they don't have the princes or the sea lanterns. They can now TK. So you just grinding out with the uh, cashier cards. Uh, side deck. I hate this card, but you have to play it. Uh, it won't meet the top eight. Uh, Kuri card are really good. More now because everyone is on cash cards, so they just break the whole cash cheater cards, and then you just attack with the other monsters. Uh, Tunibus, like the worst card in my side deck. I never used it. It was really, really bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm just gonna take out this card. I'm gonna just take out this card. We don't need this card. Like everyone is playing around Nip, like the good players. And if you need, if you need Nip to beat the bad players, you're doing something wrong. So yeah, Nip, like it, 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 it this, like this card was like a blank. It does nothing for me. Uh, two summon limits, the toxic card. Uh, I wish I played three each time I flip it. I won, except by top four. 
that I flipped it on Gunter and he just auto came me during the next turn. A hard piece on the two uh, lightning storms. This is South America. You have to play back and removal. And also the final was against um, the Runic Stone. So I played one during Swiss. And yeah, I was talking to Gunter uh, when he when when we finished the match, and I asked him if he had like this kind of cards because like in South America you have to. Uh, so yeah, two icons like this card is extremely good. It w works really good with the. Uh, with the cashier card, you can just suspend someone, attack over a monster, three with your card, take another monster, just push through boards, and then you just normal summon your, your, your snake card cards, and just full combo. Uh, it's good going first. Uh, I never like put it going first, but sometimes there's a couple of decks where you didn't you didn't have like any single card to just be good. You just take out the bad cards, and like it's it's fine. Uh, two talents, pretty much the same as the. Um, as the icons, and also because now we can just take our opponent unicorn on Fender, search for our cards, so it makes the Castillo match like way better. And also, I get shifter like a hundred times, and it didn't lose any single game to shifter just because the Castillo cards. And then the two bestials, uh that's uh, that, that's the side deck, like nothing, nothing crazy. And then the extra deck. Super simple. It's pretty much the same extra deck as the um, as the pure snake. So there's one formula, one savage, one baron. Uh, this is standard. Like now with the engine level seven, you just go way off the like you will go more into these cards. So they are good. Uh, Link Rebo, uh, Princess just won. With this version, just hanging it around, I think like the second princess is gonna be super super necessary otherwise you're just gonna lose to the unicorn so second princess is gonna be good uh phoenix the other phoenix the silantis um the sp little knight this is like pretty standard Silene, i never summoned this card like this version is not that good i miss the access code a lot uh because it helps to just end end games like quicker I understand that you play just these to just to try go to try to go into Appaloosa. The thing is, with this version, we got another card that helps us to go into Appaloosa. So Silene is like, nah, it's not it's not bad. But I never saw the card in the hard tournament, not even once. Uh, Appaloosa, of course, uh, the Charmers because it is a uh, fire and dark format. Uh, the IP, the the card that you want to end your board on. On the Draco sack, this is the card that allows you to just go into Appaloosa before you commit your normal summon. So yeah, like that's why I don't like the Sandine because you can just breach from the from the Draco sack into the Appaloosa and then you just use the original, you start your Snake Eyes combo. So this is the deck. Um shout out to JNC, Jumpy, Nick, uh Dennis. Uh, unfortunately he lost the last round and he bubbled out. But we run pretty much the same deck list. Um, just huge shout outs to everyone. Uh, Dragon Inc., of course. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.